So, I woke up this morning to find that Microsoft, the big announcement that they were touting, this big huge game announcement that they were touting last night, and I woke up to find that it was them a uh, them acquiring Gears of War. I, I, I just woke up about 30 minutes ago, right? So excuse me. But Microsoft acquired Gears of War, the IP. Yeah. Now, I have no idea why people are jumping up and down. People are excited. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm annoyed though. I, I, I really am because Gears of War was a franchise that honest to God w was best left alone. It really was. You had a great ending to the story. You ended the story well. And then you had some cheap cash in, in uh, this year. But w why do you need any more? Why can't you just let things be as they are? Uh, and what more can you do with the game? The story's over. <laughs> your your main character is done. They defeated the the, the whole alien race. I, I forgot their, their freaking name. I haven't played Gears of War in a while. <laughs> uh, the Locust. There we go. But, yeah. Hey, let's get to the good news first, all right? Titanfall beta, there's been a poster, um, a French poster, actually, that has confirmed the Titanfall beta. I'm looking at the picture right now. It's supposed to be from February 14th to the 19th, and it's from, it says, Macromania exclusive in France and GameStop for the U.S. So I guess they're going to have some sort of thing, some beta thing for pre-ordering. They don't really elaborate anything, any, any, anything else beyond that, but I'm just tired of people and their inability to let these franchises go. There is no reason why Gears of War needs to come back. There is absolutely no reason. It was fine how it was. I don't need another six or seven Gears of War games. I don't need it. Uh, it's like Halo. Stop. Just stop. <laughs> you don't need, like, another another trilogy of Halo games. You don't need that at all. It, it's fine how it was. And people seem to not get this. I use this analogy all the time. And I'm going to use it again in this video. People who want their favorite franchises just over and over and over again, like the Assassin's Creed's, like the Call of Duties, like Halo and Gears of War, all right? The gamers, they're like they're like little kids with cookies because all they want is they want more cookies. Just over and more cookies, more cookies, more cookies. But they don't understand that, okay, if I have more cookies, I'm going to get sick. This isn't exactly good for me. And it's the same thing with games. When you have just these constant, this, uh, this constant slew of franchises just coming out with, with these releases, it diminishes the value of that franchise. Let me ask you something. How many of you are excited for a new Assassin's Creed game who aren't, of course, Assassin's Creed fans? Because, I, I, uh, to be honest, I'm not so excited for Assassin's Creed 5. I'm not like, oh my gosh, I can't wait till Assassin's Creed 5 gets announced, probably in a couple months. Oh my gosh, I, I, I can't wait. This is going to be amazing. I don't feel that way. I never felt that way. I haven't felt that way in a while, to be honest. I think Assassin's Creed 2 was like it. It's it's like, it's again, with Halo. I don't feel excited for Halo when, when it gets announced. Because I know what to expect. I've experienced it. It rarely changes. Halo's core gameplay has remained consistently the same across the entire Xbox 360 generation. It's been the same. They changed the controls, you know, which was nice, but still, it the, the core gameplay of it has the the feel has remained the same. They, they, I mean, at least Uncharted tried to do something. 
w with adding a weight system and and we when weapons that felt different from the previous game, at least it tried to do something, and that and that offered a little bit of a different experience. It felt different, you know, but oh, and, and I love this is why I get, I get comments on this video like. You are the biggest PlayStation fanboy. I bought the freaking console. I bought the Xbox One on release. I got the day one edition. D don't tell me I'm a PlayStation fanboy. I have both consoles on release. <laughs> Jeez, I, I, I went to the freaking E3 press conference. Yeah, I went there. Where the fuck were you? You were sitting there on your chair, watching it from afar on your television like the whole rest of the world. I went there. That's where I went. I got invited and I went there. I did videos. And I bet that hurts your feelings, doesn't it? Any of those Microsoft fanboys, I bet that hurts your feelings. How can this non-biased asshole get into an E3 press conference for my favorite company? Yeah. And you know what sucks? It, it, it's Another thing is, too, that... Every single time I go to stores like Best Buy, any of those large electronics uh, department stores, I, I always hear some kid who's like 12 to 15 years old, Hey, Dad, look, it's the Xbox One. I think they have it available. People, people are just idiotic consumers. They really are. And it's not that the Xbox One isn't a great console. It is. You know, it's, it's a next-gen system. Uh, I mean, if you have an Xbox One, then, then that's fine. You know, you're set. It's not like there's anything specifically wrong with it. But you know you could be getting an ex a better experience for multi-plats for $100 less. And some people don't care about that, and that's okay. If you don't care about that, then that's fine. If, mo if all your friends are on the Xbox One and you're a huge multiplayer person, by all means, get that console. That's fine. But I bet that kid, I, I bet those kids who are, si are who are telling their parents, Hey, look, can you buy me an Xbox One, Dad? Can you buy me an Xbox One, Mom? I bet they didn't know that the console used to be DRM. I bet they weren't the ones screaming and yelling online, complaining about that. They are probably the ones in denial. <laughs> they are probably the ones in denial. There is no reason that Gears of War should... Um, uh, should be back. There is no re I, I just I don't know what you can do with it. <laughs> you can reboot it, but but why? Why do you, why does Gears of War doesn't need a reboot? It doesn't need a reboot. I'm I'm just trying to think. Okay, how can you really try to continue the story? You can make prequels, but no one likes prequels. Everyone gets pissed with prequels. That that's all you can do. You can just reboot it. Just call it Gears of War. It's it's like it's like Uncharted that's coming out. I don't even know. We don't even know. Is, is that a reboot? Is that a, is that Uncharted Four? Where's where's the where's our little number at the end of it? They didn't put that there. I'm sorry, but I Gears of War should be left alone as is. It was fine how it was, and it should have remained how it was. There is no reason. Why I need another two, three, four, five, six, seven, eleven Gears of War games. There's no reason. I have no craving at all for Gears of War for Gears of War as a franchise. I, I just don't. And of course I'll buy this game, and of course I'll test it out. I've always enjoyed the Gears of War series from the campaign. Multiplayer was just okay for me. Um, except Gears of War 3 actually had decent multiplayer. Um, but Yeah. These these franchises, you, you need to stop. You just need to stop. You know, it, it's fine. I understand it's it's a it's a popular franchise for Xbox. It's a meaningful franchise for Xbox. It's one of the largest franchises. Gears of War, Halo, and Forza. Those are the trio of amazing franchises that they have. But but there is no reason why that needs to continue for the new generation. Get some new games. You know, you have some great looking ones like Quantum Break. You have this interesting Sunset Overdrive from a developer that, that I don't trust anymore. You know, but at least it's different. What, 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 I mean, can, can, what about another first person shooter franchise? What about another third person shooter franchise? Something new. Something interesting. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to see the same franchises 
continue. I want to see those franchises end in some epic way. You know, I don't need six or seven games to, to continue the storyline that I think just drags on. Well, that's it. I, I, I just... There, I, I, there's just really no reason for for Gears of War to come back. That, that's 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 all, and I, and I can't really imagine them doing anything continuing with the franchise. You have Marcus Phoenix. This guy was our character. You know, he he was basically synonymous with the Gears of War franchise. Who's going to be this main character? Maybe someone a little bit more realistic, possibly. That could be good. But again, are you going to reboot it? That's all you can really do is reboot it. <laughs> you can't really do anything outside of reboot it. So you must be rebooting it. But it doesn't really need a reboot. You know, it's it's not like the franchise is is old, you know? It's it's not like the case with Mirror's Edge where it's been five years from the last game and Gears of War 3 came out in 2011, did it? It's almost been five. Well, actually, they had, yeah, it's almost been five years. But still, it's like, you know that 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 whole story is still fresh in our mind. You know, it, at least for me, it's fresh. It's fresh in my mind. I don't. I don't feel like it's been years since I had a gears of a gears of work and continue or you know try to do something with its story. So, all right, that's it. Go go go. Enjoy your day.